Hi, I'm Rachel with Ally Safety, and in today's video, we're going to be testing out chainsaw shafts. So let's get going. First of all, are they shaps or are they chaps? For those of you who are in the know, let me know how you say it in the comments below. Most of us know shaps as the leather things that cowboys wore to protect their legs from rattlesnake bites, cactus thorns, and other hazards that they would run into. But since then, they've also started being used by those who operate chainsaws to protect their legs from cuts. Over the years, they've adapted to what you see today. For anyone working with a chainsaw, one of the main risks is to suffer from a serious cut while operating the saw, either from the saw slipping or from kicking back and hitting you, usually in the leg. Shafts are the only shield against a chainsaw cut, so although PPE isn't your best bet when it comes to protecting yourself, it's your last bet and could make the difference between life and death. If you don't believe me, just check out the searches from the OSHA fatality logs and search the word chainsaw. A big thank you to Yard Maris who provided the shafts for this video. Their products are all linked in the description below, so make sure to check them out. As you might expect, if these things are going to stop a chainsaw, there's a lot of difference between these and the original shafts. Here are four main things that you need to know when you go to buy chainsaw shafts today. The two main classes are Class A and Class B. Class A provides coverage around the front and back. Class B only provides coverage in the front. The type you choose should be based on the hazards of your work. They also need to be long enough not to go over the boot and reach the toe, just the top of your boots. They make a variety of colors, but I prefer the high-vis ones so you can easily see each other on the job, and if there is an injury, especially on logging jobs, a helicopter rescue crew will have a much easier time finding you if you use a high-vis color. Now, there are different standards for different countries on what chainsaw shafts need to be, but if you want to make sure you've got the best ones, make sure that you get shafts that are certified to comply with F1897-20 or ASTM F3225-20. That way you know you're getting a quality product and they've been tested. These are also tested and certified by the Underwriters Laboratory to make sure that they meet all the required safety standards. And lastly, certified chainsaw shafts are tested to stop a chainsaw that's operating at 3,000 feet per minute to have a cut through time of at least one and a half seconds. Now that might not seem like much when we're talking about a chainsaw, but trust me, one and a half seconds can make the difference between life and death. So how do shafts that are made out of several layers of fabric protect against a chainsaw? Well, let's take a look and see what they're made of. So most chainsaw shafts will have between six and nine layers of fabric. These particular ones have eight layers. So you can see them all stacked up in here. The outer layers are usually polyester or nylon with the inner layers being Kevlar or similar materials. So you're probably wondering if I can cut through these with a pair of scissors, how are they gonna stop a chainsaw? Well, we'll show you. Let's take a look and see if it cut all the way through. So it looks like it didn't go through all the layers. And as you can see from the saw here, all of this fabric has gotten bound up and that's what stops the blade. So you can see what happens here is when the saw comes into contact with the chainsaw shafts, the little blades on here act like hooks and pull the fibers out. And then eventually, 
They get spun up in the sprocket here until the saw stops. It's important to know that no PPE can completely resist the cut of a chainsaw. The thing about chainsaw shafts is they're built so the cut will inflict a minimal injury while providing additional time for the operator to react to the blade. It's not a perfect solution, but it's a world of difference from just regular jeans. So that's what chainsaw shafts are and how they work and the different types. Remember, PPE isn't your best bet, but it is your last bet. So make an investment in your safety and protect yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you let us know in the comments below what you'd like us to test in the next video. All right, we'll see you guys later.